If you are wondering how can you create multiple watch lists in free version of TradingView, if you are using the free version of TradingView, you must know that you can only create one watch list by default. And if you want to create multiple watch lists, you need to create a subscription or paid subscription for TradingView. And I'm going to share with you a cool hack which allows you and in a completely legal way to create multiple watch lists in TradingView. If you are ready to learn that, watch till the end because I'm going to share with you step by step how to do that. Again, I'm not breaking any rules because I'm a paid subscriber for TradingView and one of the best platform which can be given to you in any investor or trader or somebody who just want to follow the markets and gain out of that. So let's go straight in. Step by step, I'll share with you. So this is my trading view, a free version of it, which is there. If you haven't created an account, as you can see, this is a peaceful weekend investing in the plan. So you can simply go in sbhadia.co slash trading view on the browser, any browser, Chrome browser, and then create an account. It's my, you know, uh, affiliate link. But if you don't have to create and make any payments for it, if you in future decide, then you probably will get some coins as well as for me and it gets benefited as well for creating the content. Thank you so much. And if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to it, I'm creating Ultimate Beginners Trading View Guide 2022 and make sure that it is uh, fully updated. I'm going to create a capsule size content which will help you in your investing journey to help you in, in taking to the next level. So do subscribe and follow this. And if you haven't watched any videos before that, do, do go and after this video and go through them and see what you have benefited and you learn from that as well. So this is the my favorite watch list, which is there. Now, if you try to if you try to do a, a if you try to do, you know, um, just let me do that. So if you try to create a new watch list, as you can see here, it will say you need to be, you are in basic version. And for you to create a new watch list, you need to be in pro version, pro plus or premium, right? And I'm currently in my paid version because I'm recording this video. So I want to share all the free versions and all the tips and tricks. So I've logged in with my different account, but otherwise I'm pro plus and I'm really, really happy with that. So in terms of like now, how do you create that, right? Now, let me quickly share with you. So you need to have a smartphone and you have to log in with the same user ID which you have created here. Um, and you can see here that I'm already there. So you have to log in with the same user ID and you have to um, on your smartphone. Now, just for the ease purpose, what I've done is I've, I have created, I'm going to share my mobile phone user just so that you can see that. So this is a Dex version of my mobile phone. And this is where the TradingView app is. Now, just so that you know that I'm doing the same stuff, you can go here. This is my account and I'll sh share with you right away live in front of you. So this is my account. Now, if you go into watch list, you have an option called add list. When I click on it, voila, it allows me to create an account and peaceful weekend investing. My name is Shivendra, so I'll put it here and you create and I can now create another one. I'll say peaceful weekend investing long term watch list. So I create these two, one for my short term and long term. As you know, we follow price action and blend the technicals and fundamentals. So it's going to help us. Now, as soon as you create it, you will have two watch lists here. Now, let me take you to my browser. And if you try to refresh it here, you got both the watch lists here. As you can see uh, in here, you got one to create it right so this is how how simple it is now if we, if you go in here and say i want to add any stock let's say i want to add um abb 
again no recommendation i'm just sharing with you example here you can add here and if you want to say in long term let's say i want to add invoices i can add here and you can see here you can add uh, the stocks as well so both of them have it and now the beauty is if you go to your mobile phone and try to refresh it you should be able to see that it just needs a bit of a refresh um, just go in here and see whether it refreshes it needs a couple of minutes before it sinks back let me go to the chart and come back to watch list maybe it does that let me close this and try to open again and see if that has yeah there we go so you got infosys in my long term and if you go in here you got abb so that's as simple as that so now that you have learned this trick give a thumbs up to this video and try and create it and give me what did you did you were you able to do that just type in and yes at least i know that you're following it and if you find this video powerful type powerful so that that can help also in terms of you know uh, feeding to the youtube algorithm for the other um, like-minded people who want to learn and grow in investing journey so i would like to say goodbye that's for this video and probably see you on other side in another video until that time have a great investing week ahead bye bye